Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is May 30th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. And what I want to show you here is this stream of moisture going all the way back across Pacific Ocean. We're going to get a tropical or subtropical tap from Japan that's going to stream all the way across the Pacific Ocean. It's trying to act like November or the winter time here across the Pacific Northwest or maybe even fall as we get a couple of strong systems rolling through here as we go on in through next week. We're going to cover that in a bit of detail as we go through the video this morning. We also have a weak frontal system coming in Saturday. Also had some thunderstorms out there yesterday as well. I saw my Tempest weather station going off uh, from out here in Texas telling me there was lightning nearby. And if we take a look here, uh, this is where I'm out chasing today here. I uh, didn't get a great late night's sleep last night out there. A little bit under the weather also, but we're going to be chasing down here and trying to get a tornado out here somewhere in West Texas. You can see the th general thunderstorm risk does include some portions or would include some portions of British Columbia, Alberta, and kind of northern Montana and the extreme and northern portions of Washington and Idaho there for today. Now taking a look at what I got here in one of my shots, check out this lightning bolt here. One of the fun things of storm chasing here is trying to capture some interesting uh, lightning strikes out there as well. Got some good structure a couple days ago as well, but today is a little bit better tornado threat, so that's what we're going to be after today. And if we take a look at what happened yesterday, so we're going to scroll back through the day here, and if you see, you notice a couple of thunderstorms here, oh, some across southwest BC, a couple just to the east of the Seattle metro here. There might have been a strike over the Puget Sound there as well. And as we went through the day, you can see this thunderstorm band right here across southeast Washington through Idaho. And this, again, it's a visible satellite imagery. If I didn't mention that, you can see the lightning continuing across some portions of Idaho in the overnight hours from western Montana there. And then as we go through the day today, you can kind of see there's some nice sunny skies off to the east here and kind of a mixed bag here across western Washington. A lot more sunshine across portions of Oregon. Taking a look at the North American model over the next couple days, you can see we have some residual showers going on as we go through the morning today. And not much going on as we go through Friday, and to, except for Vancouver Island, Western BC. And so the next frontal system will be rolling through here as we go through late Friday night into Saturday morning. Not much precipitation associated with that. And that goes it up about 60 hours, but more on that here in a moment. If we take a look at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, there's a system that just went through. A little bit of a transient ridge coming through here. Then we flatten that out with a trough as we go through Saturday with that weak system. And then we start to get the stronger storms. Look at this lobe here moving down across the Pacific Northwest. And then we've got another one following up on that here. It looks like in the midweek period, kind of an atmospheric river look to things. And then we've got some interesting weather coming off in the extended. Because you can see at the very end of last night's European run, we have this ridge of high pressure building along the west coast there. So some warm temperatures starting to show up here as we go on in through the beginning portions of June and more on that here in the upcoming days and also I'll show you a little bit more on that here in a moment in today's run. If you look across Pacific Ocean you can see Japan to the far left there's Alaska and there's Washington, British Columbia and Oregon here. If I put this into motion you'll see Saturday's system show up right there but then you see the stronger systems here kind of atmospheric river activity associated with that one and the next one as we go on in through the early to mid portion of next week and then we start the ridge building here and try to warm some areas up here in the western portions of North America. And this is Spokane National Weather Service. They talk about Sunday afternoon into Monday here. The next weather system coming in here. Some gusty winds, some showers and thunderstorms are expected. Possible downpours, lightning strikes, and you could also have, like I mentioned, some of those gusty winds. And this is what's known as the multiple run trend here on the European model. This is Seattle Tacoma International Airport. And you can kind of see how this has been trending wetter here as we go through the Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening time period. Showing up over an inch, 1.11 inches of rain in a 24-hour period. And you can see it's kind of been holding on for the last few runs. Definitely uptrending over the last few days as well. So definitely looking at a wet period coming up here. It's going to be more like fall or winter here across Pacific Northwest. But, you know, enjoy that if you like the rain because we may be be warming up here as we go through the extended forecast and this is uh, off on Vancouver Island you can see some big precipitation amounts also showing up with that system as well and then we go to Tillamook Airport look at some of these uh, forecast projected totals there on the coastal areas 1.7 inches of rainfall in a 24 hour period that's definitely more November than it is uh, June or late May here across Pacific Northwest this, this would be in June also by the way that would be June 2nd if we look at Mount Baker as well, look at this. Some uh, some of the previous runs were showing up over 2 inches. The latest has about 1.8 inches in a 24-hour period. And the snow levels are going to be pretty high here, so it's not like it's going to be good skiing or dropping nice amounts of snowfall for the skiers out there as well. Uh, you know, just the very highest peaks be getting maybe some snowfall out of this. But 
These atmospheric rivers uh, aren't kind to our ski areas here across Pacific Northwest. Here's Portland. You can see the drop down here as we go through some of these systems and the bounce back. This is the National Blend of Models. I'm going to show you the European here starting now. And look at some of these temperatures as we go through June 6th, 7th, and 8th, really ramping up the temperatures here. But, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt at this time frame, at that time range. Seattle Tacoma, you can see the warm up coming north near the end of the period, but below average temperatures in the meantime as we deal with these systems, some of them are going to be pretty wet, especially the one that rolls in here Sunday night. Now looking at the total precipitation in inches on the National Blend of Models, if I put this into motion here, you'll see the next system as we go through Friday and on into Saturday. You notice it doesn't drop much precipitation for western Washington, better amounts across some of western BC, but then the stronger system arrives as we go through Sunday night and into Monday morning. Look at that, Seattle, Portland up over an inch by the time we get into Monday morning here and some uh, for some of the Rocky Mountains here as well. And uh, coastal ranges doing well, Cascades, Vancouver Island, and western British Columbia is it is definitely going to be like winter here for, uh, you know, uh, probably to, uh, again through Sunday on in through the midweek period. But look at that. North Cascade showing up for five inches on some of these model runs here when all is said and done. Now, taking a wider view of things here, there's Washington, Oregon. Again, we're looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. There's the system that swung through yesterday. Here comes Saturday's system right there. And then we start to bring the stronger systems in here as we go through Sunday night, Monday, and then we continue that on in through Tuesday. But then watch what happens on through the extended forecast. Look at this ridge build across the western portion of the USA. And of course, the axis of this ridge is going to have huge implications on just how much we warm up here across a lot of the west coast. Some of the model runs have been showing kind of a thermal trough moving up the coastline here as well. But yeah, well, lots to watch here as we go through the extended forecast for sure. And in the meantime, of course, we got a lot of rainfall incoming. I also want to show you last night's European artificial intelligence run here, and you can see the systems moving through. Look at that strong low pressure system approaching high to Gwai. And then we build the ridge, and you can kind of see that thermal trough make its way up the coastline as we go towards the end of the following week here. So more on that here in the upcoming days. Uh, Medford National Weather Service is also calling attention to this as well. This could affect portions of California and a lot of the west here and Pacific. Northwest as well. Just to see the climate prediction set that we're going to look at here in a moment is also hyping up those uh, above average temperatures. This is a 6 to 10 day. You can see much of the lower 48 above average here. And you can see 6 to 10 day precipitation below average for a lot of the West, except that sliver across some of Washington. We look at the 8 to 14 day. That's what I was showing you on the Medford page here. June 6th to 12th above average signal is present for the western USA. And look at that below average precipitation amount. So we're already getting pretty dry this time of year. So we're going to get a bunch of rain here and then we're probably going to be drying out. So anyway, yeah, I am in Dalhart, Texas right now. I'm going to be chasing probably somewhere south of Lubbock, Texas. A few more days to go here. I'll probably be back early next week. So hope you guys are liking these videos here out on the road and hopefully the audio is coming through nicely, which reminds me i do have a microphone for the setup i didn't set it up so excuse the audio quality i'll fix that with my briefing tomorrow but anyway hope you guys are having a good day click like and subscribe we'll do this again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then